If you rub this uh, plastic, rubberized uh, rod with a piece of fur, the rod takes on a characteristic that it didn't have before, which we call charge. So if you rub this thing like this, the rod becomes charged. We understand the rod to be charged, uh, negatively charged. And that means that uh, by this rubbing process, it's acquired extra electrons. It got those extra electrons from the cat fur, which is now too short or has too few, and it's positively charged. But in any case, we've got the electrons on the rod. And we're going to put them on this little device called an electroscope. When I do that, the extra electrons that were on the rod are transferred to the piece of metal here. And since they repel each other, they uh, try to get as far apart from one another as they can on the piece of metal. Well, some of those are able to, f to move down this uh, rigid uh, piece of metal that comes through here, and some of them wind up on the uh, needle. And the ones out on the needle then repel the ones on the stiff rod, and that causes the needle to swing out. Now, you can take them, put them back in your pocket, and then the needle collapses, and that means that the electrons are gone. But if we put the electrons onto the device, then the needle swings out, and we know that the electrons are there. Now let me do it in a slightly different way. Let's take those electrons off. Let's uh, charge up the rod again. But this time I'm not going to actually touch the uh, I'm not going to actually touch the piece of metal. I'm just going to get close. If I just get close. We don't actually put the electrons onto the piece of metal. Still, the needle swings out. And that's some evidence that at least some of the electrons in a piece of metal that are already there naturally are not bound tightly to individual atoms, but they're free to move around in that piece of metal as they're pushed by electrical forces. In this particular case, when I bring the charged rod near, there's an electrical repulsion between the electrons on the rod and the ones in the metal on the electroscope. And they move down to cause the, uh, the uh, needle to swing out.